Compliance is one of the services included in cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is included with your smart management subscription that also enables you to use Red Hat Satellite. Cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux includes vulnerability, system comparison, and compliance, which is what we'll be covering in this video. Compliance enables you to assess, monitor, report, and remediate internal and external regulatory and compliance requirements of your Red Hat environment with ease in order to be compliant and secure from malicious actors and threats. Let's take a look at how this works. Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux is accessed via cloud.redhat.com, which is the home for all of Red Hat's software as a service products. The homepage of cloud.redhat.com will change over time as the offerings expand and grow, but currently there are three tiles. The first tile is how you access Red Hat Insights. The second tile is how you access cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And the third tile is how you access OpenShift Cluster Manager. We'll begin by selecting the tile for cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. On the dashboard of cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you will see the high level graphs for these services. The current services are vulnerability, compliance, and system comparison. Since we're looking at compliance, we'll start by clicking Compliance in the left-hand navigation bar. On the Policies page, you are shown any policies that you have configured via OpenSCAP. Currently, I only have one policy, the standard system security profile for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. All of my systems are within the compliance threshold. Clicking the More Details button gives you more information about the policy. The details include a description of the policy and the minimum threshold for compliance, which is currently set at 95%. The minimum threshold for compliance is important since security policies are purposefully difficult to meet and 100% compliance may be unreasonable for your business needs. As a result, compliance offers a configurable threshold. This one is set at 95%, meaning that any system meeting at least 95% of rules within a policy is considered compliant. And systems below that threshold are highlighted as non-compliant. This isn't based on the rules of the policies themselves, only the average compliance with the policy, called the compliance score. You can change the compliance threshold in the Actions drop-down menu. If I scroll down the page, I see the individual systems being evaluated, the profile assigned, number of rules failed, the compliance score, and the date of the last scan. You can select a system to see more details, including the individual rules of the policy. This will tell you if the system is compliant or not, how many rules in the policy are passed or failed, and the name of the profile being evaluated. Further down the page, you can see the individual rules. The default shows all rules, but you can hide the past rules by clicking the Hide Past Rules checkbox. For rules that have failed, if the Ansible logo is shown in blue, then you can remediate the failed rule via an Ansible playbook. Select one or more of the issues that have a failed rule and the Remediate with Ansible button becomes available. Select this button to create an Ansible playbook to resolve the issue. To remediate, you can create a new playbook or add remediation to an existing playbook. Let's create a new playbook. Start by giving it a name, then click Next. This page summarizes the actions you are taking, a summary of the resolution, if a reboot is required, how many systems, 
and what type of playbook. Remediation of this issue does require a reboot, so Auto Reboot is enabled. Click the Create Playbook button. Navigate to the playbook using Remediations on the left-hand navigation bar. Then click the playbook that you just created. Looking at the playbook, we can see a summary of the systems that either will be or will not be rebooted, if Auto Reboot is enabled, and when the playbook was created and modified. Further down the page, you can see the actions included, and if you expand, you can see the systems associated with each action. At the top, you have the option to download or delete the playbooks. Downloading the playbook will download it to your local machine you are using to access cloud.redhat.com. Let's take a quick look at the playbook. Adjust the playbook if needed, then you will need to transfer the playbook to a host where Ansible is installed to run the playbook. This has been a short overview of compliance. Included with Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux as part of your Smart Management subscription.